Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. Today I have lemon Dollar Tree DIY ideas for you. I think lemon is such a fun refreshing theme for summer decor and I needed some new lemon decor for my home this summer. So we're going to start with a DIY lemon candle. I picked up a yellow candle from Dollar Tree, a yellow like glass candle holder. I even found Meyer lemon fragrance oil from Dollar Tree and then from the summer section they have these really cute little lemon wood beads and I thought that would make the perfect lid to make a lemon scented candle. So I wanted it to be yellow for lemons of course so I'm just going to melt down one of these tall glass candles from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to put it in a pot of water um, that had been boiling on my stove until it melts. And then I was able to retrieve the wick and the metal piece from the candle after it melted. I'm just going to secure it with a dot of hot glue just so I can center it in my candle. And then after all of my wax had melted, I'm just going to pour it in um, as full as I can get it. I don't want to overfill the container. And then I'm just going to pour in some of that Meyer lemon fragrance oil when it is nice and hot. Stir that up. I'm actually going to use just a little paintbrush to make sure my wick stays centered and I let it sit for an hour or so and it hardened up nicely. Um, I just cut the wick and cleaning up any um, excess wax from when I moved it to kind of set it aside um, to clean it up a little bit but I think it turned out perfect. Now the little wood lemon is just the right size for this candle holder to make a fun lid. When you're doing a scented candle a lot of times they can lose the scent if they're open air like that so it's always nice to have a lid so I'm going to try to DIY one. It did have a hole in it from being part of the would-be garland so I'm actually going to use that to my advantage. Um, and kind of make a little wood bead tassel for it. And so I do that just by doing a little piece of twine, knotting it on the inside, and then using those wood beads that were from it um, to make just a tiny little wood bead, um, one that's going to fit the height of the candle. So I'm just going to string those on white and yellow, just like that and knot it off here at the end. I could only fit about five beads on there. But I think that's a fun little touch and I already have the hole in the lemon so I might as well do something cute on the front of it like that. Then I also want to kind of make a ridge. I'm doing that with just some hot glue dots just so the lid kind of stays in place and doesn't like slide around. Um, and let that set up until it hardens and as you can see that kind of keeps the lid in place. I also thought that I should maybe use the tassel on there since I have it and I thought that would look really cute next to the little wood beads that we have hanging on the lemon. It is a little bit too long but that's no problem. It's easy enough to trim up to make it the right length for it and it's got like a cute little yellow and white ribbon on there too. Really cute. So I'm just going to take a piece of twine and um, try to make it a little bit stiffer by putting a little hot glue there on the end. And then just trying to pry open the top of the ribbon so I can slide that in there. It was kind of difficult to get in there. So I just used a little screwdriver to help me guide it through just so I have something to tie on to my little wood bead garland that we made here. So I just kind of wrap it around from the bottom, tie it off, flip it over and tie it a couple more times to secure it. And I think the short wood beads and the tassel look really cute, finish this off, make the candle look really decorative even when you're not burning it and provides a nice functional little lid on there. So here it is, our little DIY lemon candle. Everything was from the Dollar Tree. It smells wonderful with that Meyer lemon scent in there when you are burning it. But look how cute it looks just on its own. This would be great in your kitchen. I'm actually gonna DIY a tray that I'm gonna display mine on. But I think it turned out really cute and it was really fun to make. I always love making candles. This is what it looks like lit up. 
If you're enjoying today's video, be sure to hit that like button. It always helps my videos do better here on YouTube. Okay, for the next one, we're gonna make a little lemon floral arrangement. I picked up some lemon picks, a yellow vase, and some eucalyptus from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna show you how easy this is to put together. First, I designed an SVG. I will share that in the description, a free SVG for you of a simple lemon design. And I used my Cricut Joy Extra just to cut that out. I made sure that it would be one piece so I could just kind of use it as a sticker which is what I'm gonna do. It might be easier to use transfer paper for this, but I was like, I can just stick these on here. And so that's what I'm gonna do. So as you can see, it's just a very simple lemon design. It's all one piece. I just cut it out on white vinyl. And I thought that'd be really cute because it would let the yellow glass from these milk vase and milk jug vases um, shine through, make it look like a real lemon. So I made mine about two and a quarter inches. I didn't want them to be too big. And I'm just gonna kind of stagger them all over, just trying to carefully get them on there without any wrinkles if I can. That's where the paper probably would come in handy. Um, but I was able to get them on there pretty well. I have room for um, another one back here. I might as well just go ahead and decorate the whole thing, but I think four is about all I had room for on there, but I think it turned out really cute. What do you guys think? I wanted to use those lemon picks just to make a little lemon floral arrangement, but I thought it needed more greenery, so I picked up some of this eucalyptus from the Dollar Tree. I really like the color of this one. It kind of gives me like a lamb's ear color, um, but I thought they'd be really cute. But I don't want you to be able to see the plastic stems from the Dollar Tree things inside the yellow clear vase. So I'm gonna fill it up with some Dollar Tree sand. I chose the white sand just because I didn't want to distract away from the yellow color. I think it's really pretty. And so this is what it looks like, filled up with white sand. I just went all, all the way up to the neck of it. I'm gonna leave the eucalyptus like all attached and just put that right in the center of the vase. And then we can use these cute little lemon picks from the Dollar Tree for the lemons. I noticed the leaves on them are really kind of cheap. So you might want to add more greenery to yours. I do like an odd number though. So I'm gonna cut one lemon off of this one so I can have a total of three lemons. I just think it looks better um, when you're making an arrangement like this. And then just kind of arrange everything to my liking. It was really simple to put this together. I thought another fun touch would be to use some of the Dollar Tree Lemon Ribbon. What I'm gonna do is just tie that around the neck of like the milk jug vase, just to give another fun touch. I'm just gonna tie it and like double knot it. No fancy bows or anything like this, just a little touch of the Lemon Ribbon I thought would be cute and provide a fun little detail on there. So I don't want it to have too much of the ribbon left, so I'm going to kind of cut that down rather short just to provide a little bit of trim. And it was so easy to put this together. If you didn't have a Cricut, you could always paint um, the lemon shape on there. It's pretty easy to do with a white paint pen. Um, and I'll show you, um, I'm going to DIY a lemon here in a minute, how easy that is to do. But this is how it turned out. I think it's really cute. It was so easy and I'm really loving those colored milk jug vases from the Dollar Tree. I made a solar light out of the green one. I think they're really pretty and this is how it turned out. Really fun to do. Now to display the cute candle and floral arrangement, I thought I would DIY a lemon tray. So I'm gonna use one of these little Dollar Tree round signs that has the frame on it. Just removing the hanger from the back and giving it a quick sand. It was a little jagged around the edges, but I thought it looked like a lemon to me because it's got like the lemon rind so we can do like a lemon slice. So just using my favorite paint pens, the Posca paint pens, I get those on Amazon. I should have those linked in my Amazon shop um, below this video. And I have so many colors of these now. I just love them. They work so well, as you can see. And I'm just going around and I have the white frame on there. So making it yellow was super easy. Now I'm not gonna make the tray itself yellow because I already have that yellow candle that we made and the yellow vase. So I think that would be too much yellow. I'm gonna leave it just wood, just for a little variety in color, but I do want it to look like a lemon. So using my white 
Posca paint pen, I just go around the edges using the frame kind of as a guide, but I do want it to be thick enough that you can really see it. So I go around with a couple coats just to kind of thicken that up a little bit. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to just draw a lemon design on here. You can have as many sections as you want. I'm gonna do kind of a simplified version, kind of like what we did on the vase. So I use like the middle line as a reference for my first line and then crisscross here, just like a plus sign. We're going down the other direction and then I'm going to fill in the gaps with two more lines. You can have as many sections as you want, but I, again, I just wanted it to be kind of simplified. You could use a ruler if you needed to, but it's pretty easy. It, you know, your lines don't have to be perfect. And then I'm like gonna make it look like the little sections of a lemon, just by kind of filling in the gaps here at the corner with my white paint pen. It gives it that lemon slice vibe. Really trying to, um, make the white around the edges look a little bit better. I go over it with just another coat of my paint pen and kind of touching up that middle line, but there it is, my lemon slice. Now to make it a tray, I have these leftover yellow wood beads from a wood bead garland that we're just gonna use for feet. So I chose five of them. I'm gonna kind of stagger them out, kind of like the shape of a star. And then just using hot glue, you could also use wood glue for this. Um, if you have trouble making them stick, I am going to glue these all around. Not really measuring them, just kind of spacing them out by sight. And we have a simple little lemon tray. Now I didn't really like the look of the outside of the frame. Some of it was white and some of it was brown as you can see. So I just go over it with that same yellow paint pen. And I'm only painting that top frame of it um, just to make it match the yellow rind. Um, just because the rest of it, it's a little hard to paint that like MDF wood um, to make it look good, but a very simple little lemon slice tray that's gonna be perfect to display the items that we've already made in today's video. So let me give you a look of how this turned out. It was kind of hard to get a shot of the lemon design, but also the feet of the tray, which were so easy to make just with the wood beads. So you can kind of see how this sets up. I think I'm gonna use this in my kitchen. I think it's gonna look really cute in there for summer and just bring some refreshing lemons into my summer decor. But let me show you how it looks with everything we've DIY'd on it. Um, I'm gonna put the vase on it. I'm gonna put the candle on it. And then I also have just one of the lemons from the Dollar Tree that I put on there with just some of the leftover greenery from the lemon pick. So this is how it all came together. Look how fun that looks. And you can see why I didn't paint the lemon yellow because it would just be way too much yellow going on there. But with just one of the Dollar Tree lemons, I think this looks so pretty for summer. And I really had a lot of fun putting these together for you today. Hey guys, if you joined my private Facebook group yet, I have it linked in the description of this video. You can see what everyone's been crafting. You guys are so creative and you can find out when I post new content. I also have a Facebook page, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. My handle and everything is Crafty Beach on YouTube. Okay, next up, we're gonna make a fun summer lemon wreath. I picked up a 14 inch metal wreath from, from the Dollar Tree and some of these like <clears throat> green leaf lays they have this year in the summer section. I love them. And some zip ties from the hardware section. So using um, lays, it makes a really quick, easy wreath. So I thought this would be perfect. And so I just zip tie it on here. I find that one of the lays covers one quarter of this size wreath form really well. So I'm gonna need a total of four. And it's kind of a quick trick Dollar, uh, dollar Tree hack to um, make a green leaf wreath really easily. We're gonna add different kinds of greenery for um, variety because this is not like a traditional leaf that you would see with like lemons, but that's kind of the great thing about lemons. You can really mix all different kinds of leaves up. You can even do like a tropical like looking leaf like this and it still looks really cute together. So I just wrapped it around a couple times, zip tied it to one of the crossbars like that. And it looks like about a quarter 
of it. So a total of four will be perfect. Now I'm going to zip tie my next one on right here and then do the same thing. Just wrap it around a couple times, zip tie it again. Really couldn't be any easier. You can see how much great full greenery I'm getting on the reef so far. And I love these lays this year. These are new. I've never seen these at Dollar Tree before. I use these a lot in my luau DIYs. If you haven't checked out the video, you should. They're so cool and you can do so many different things with them. And so this is my third one. I just zip tie it to the kind of wherever I stop, the center section, um, any of those, but they do have like the little metal bars like separating sections so you can kind of use those to your advantage. I'm going to use those when I go to attach the lemons. I'm going to attach one of the Dollar Tree lemons for every one of those crossbars. But I needed to get at least this layer of greenery done first and then I could add the lemons and then add everything else. So here is the fourth and final one. If you don't want, really like the all green color that this has, they do have two different varieties of this one if you can still find these. Um, like there's one that's like kind of two different shades of green to give it a little bit of variety, but I'm gonna be adding more leaves to this, so I'm okay with it so far. And I think it's gonna hold up really well outdoor on um, my front door. So these are the lemons that we're gonna be using. Um, we're gonna use a total of six. I don't really like using odd numbers, but there's six crossbars and that's what I'm gonna use to attach them. I just had to figure out a way to get them on there. I thought about zip ties, but I couldn't really make it work. So we're actually gonna use just some hardware wire from the Dollar Tree. You could also use some floral wire. But to get it through the um, lemon, I'm gonna use one of the giant needles from the sewing um, needles from Dollar Tree and just put my wire on the needle then I'm just going to feed that through just a section. It's kind of hard to go through the foam, but I'm trying to get it to go through there enough to keep it on. And so what I found to be the best was to use a pair of pliers to pull my needle through. And then I have a perfectly wired lemon. Um, this is going to permanently attach it. It won't fall off. And I'm just looking for the crossbar. I can feed both my pieces of wire together it's probably gonna work easier for you to do it upside down, just wire it, twist it, cut off your excess wire, and we have our first lemon. So I'm gonna do that same thing with the rest of these lemons, just using the wire, the needle from the Dollar Tree, feeding it through there and wiring it to the frame. I'm also gonna go in there with um, some more greenery that I found from Dollar Tree that kind of looks more like a lemon leaf, even if it is a really large lemon leaf. Sometimes the greenery choices from Dollar Tree, you can't find a lot of variety, especially depending like on the size of your Dollar Tree, what kind of greenery they're gonna have. But I'm trying to do everything from the Dollar Tree just to make it easier. So I've got a couple of fun options we can add to it just to provide some different leaf shapes because this is really tropical so far, as you can see. But just a little bit of stringing. I love this metal, um, this black wire from the hardware section from the Dollar Tree. It's thin enough that it's easy to cut, um, but you could also use the floral wire. Any kind of wire that you can find at Dollar Tree is going to work for this. I've had trouble finding this exact um, hardware wire for a while, it comes in a package of like black and red, I believe. Um, but I don't know. Sometimes, you know, Dollar Tree will have a product like this and then they have it all the time and then you just never see it. Kind of like the little tiny seashells that I use a lot. So that is four. I have room for two more on the two crossbars and they're kind of a large lemon to use on a wreath, but since this wreath form is so large, I think it's gonna look really good. But if you wanted like a smaller lemon, you could always use those lemon picks from the Dollar Tree. And not all of my Dollar Trees carry the lemons or the lemon picks, only my like largest store in town does. So you might need to shop around a few different Dollar Trees to be able to find your lemons. But I think it's a good deal. They are $1.25 a piece. Um, you might be able to find a better price maybe online, but for something readily accessible from the Dollar Tree, I think it's pretty good price. 
Now these are the leaves I was talking about that kind of look like a large lemon leaf. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take these off. They don't really come off with any stem when you pull them off. I noticed that there was like four of the light green and two of the dark green. I kind of like the light green better. It's a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna kind of go around and attach those to the greenery that's already on the wreath and just between each lemon. So I just put a little hot glue on the back of the stem and just glue it to the greenery that's on there. And I thought it would be kind of hard to wire on there without any stem. And I think for just this lightweight leaf on the leaves that are attached really well to the wreath form, I think they will stay in place. Um, each leaf I'm just kind of um, tilting a different way just to give it a little bit of variety. So I am going to need a second um, bundle of those to get two more of the light green leaves. So they're all the same color. And again, I just hot glue those around, um, kind of nesting those in the greenery that is already on there. And I think this wreath is coming together really well. Now, if I wanted to add a little bit of florals, but not too much. I wanted a little white flower. So I found these white baby's breath from Dollar Tree and they're just a tiny white flower, really simple. Just to add a fun floral touch, but nothing too overpowering because we have those big lemons. So again, I just take off a sprig and use hot glue to attach it to the lay that we already had on there of all the leaves. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. I'm gonna try to do in between each lemon, even though I don't have a lot of room because I use those large leaves in between each one, I can kind of work around those and I do want it to be kind of random as well. And they're pretty lightweight, so I think securing them with hot glue is going to work well. I've got the lay on the wreath form pretty tight, so it does a pretty good job of keeping the round shape. But as you can see, it's already looking really full and stuff. And it was so much easier than attaching all of that greenery separately. So it's kind of a Dollar Tree hack to make a really easy wreath is definitely to use the Dollar Tree lays. So I have that between each lemon. I do have a little bit of baby's breath left over. I picked up two of these. So I thought I might as well just cut some of them apart. And that way I can kind of have a random a flower here or there just to kind of go with that floral theme. I am kind of working on the outside of the lemons, um, but it's easy enough. The ones that are attached, you can kind of move them around, fluff them out, make them look good. But I thought I would just add a little bit more of the flowers. I have them, so I might as well use them. And I think it provides another fun touch. If you had like, um, if you wanted a little bit more color besides the yellow lemons, you could also use some like the blue berries from Dollar Tree. I think that would look pretty. Kind of that royal blue goes really nicely with it. And then I have um, just some greenery left over here um, that I could use as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take those off and glue those in place. It's kind of a different shape leaf. And I think that's gonna look really good. This is the greenery that was on the baby's breath, so might as well use it instead of waste it, right? And I left them together as just two bundles. I glued them underneath each lemon to kind of look like lemon leaves. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use as many as I have. They were a little frayed. Um, sometimes the fabric leaves like that from the Dollar Tree can get a little frayed, but I think they look pretty good and it provides a different shape leaf. Again, providing variety for the different kind of leaves that are on here. So it's not all just tropical with that lay, but that did provide a great base and provide it a great base to be able to hot glue easily all the things we've added to it. And so I just kind of fill that in with all of the greenery that I have. And there it is, our summer wreath with lemons. I think this is a great theme for a summer wreath. You can leave it up all summer long. And um, my front porch was a little bare after 4th of July. So I needed something fun and refreshing for summer. And I think this is going to look perfect. So as you can see, it's a nice large size wreath for the door. It's not any of the tiny ones that you might make with Dollar Tree supplies. And I think it turned out really fun and beautiful. And be sure to try to find some of those leaf vase, um, the lays. They are really great. Hey guys, have you checked out my website yet? It is craftybeach.net. 
it is a blog where I'll be archiving all of the YouTube videos that I make here. So when you visit, you'll see like a photo, cover photo, and the beginning of the description. You can find whichever one you're interested in the DIYs, click on it. It is going to take you to the blog post where I have all of the photos from that video of all the DIYs that you can pin on Pinterest. So you can remember to go back and make those. If you scroll down, you'll find the corresponding YouTube video where I show you exactly how I put those together. I'm going to have everything organized by season. Right now I have all of these plus summer on there as well. I even have links to like my Amazon shop or the products that I do use from Amazon. I basically Amazon and Dollar Tree is where I get all of my supplies for my YouTube channel. And I even have a link to my Etsy shop for those fun crafting meme printables. They're $1.98. You can use them for commercial purposes, but I do run a lot of sales over there as well. And they seem to be really popular. So be sure to check it out. My new website, it is craftybeach.net. No.com at the end, it's .net. I've been waiting for .com for a while, but I haven't been able to secure it yet. Now for the next DIYs, I'm gonna show you how I put together a really cute lemon coffee bar for my home for the summer. This also has lots more lemon DIYs that I think that you might enjoy. So here we go. The last theme I had from a couple months ago was bees on my coffee bar. It was super cute, but you guys know I love to recycle this sign. I got this sign at Goodwill and I've remade it on here maybe like 20 times. It has been through a lot, lots of coats of paint, but it's the perfect size for the top of my coffee bar. So that's what we're going to decorate first. It's just a matter of getting everything off of it. Now, if you remember my last video, I used this removable wallpaper from Dollar Tree and cut out letters to try to give you an alternative for things that you could do without a Cricut. Now, it doesn't look too removable to me. I had to get it wet and use heat and scrape to get it off, but I was able to get it off, but removable, I don't know about that. <laughs> now I did like a faux stain on this where I painted this sign um, ivory and then I distressed it with Antique Wax by Waverly to get like that wood grain. That's not what the direction I wanna go on this project. So I just kinda need to prepare the surface to paint this, but I need to mask that like dark antique wax by Waverly color. So we're just gonna go in here with some white acrylic and just paint our little three board palette sign. And it's gonna give us a blank canvas to start with to do lemons. I was thinking, I really liked my bee coffee bar and it, you know, it was great for spring, but I was kind of getting tired of it. So I wanted to switch it over to another theme for summer, but I didn't necessarily want to do 4th of July because I would have to take it down fairly soon, but lemons I can leave up all summer. So I thought lemons would be perfect. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of lemon DIYs for my coffee bar, but you could use them anywhere in your home. And I'm also going to be doing a lemon tear tray today. So stick around. I've got lots of lemon DIYs for you, and I really hope you enjoy today's video. So here's my blank canvas. Um, just painted it white with a couple coats. And now I am using this color is from Walmart. It is Apple Barrel cloudless very light blue color I really love this color and we're just gonna paint this all over I want this to be a like lemon theme coffee bar sign and so I'm gonna use a combination of some items from the Dollar Tree and my Cricut and some vinyl to um, just add vinyl to the sign I think the vinyl was easier to get off the sign than the removable wallpaper so might as well right you could always use, um, you know, those like sticker letters from the Dollar Tree and stuff like that if you want to kind of make your own um, stencils or anything like that. But I, I'm just going to go with that. And I did have to kind of like a couple areas of brown were showing through there. So just painted those white again and went over it with blue. Now, these are from the summer section at Dollar Tree right now. They are the, the fruit and it's got like oranges, 
uh, watermelon and lemons in there. The lemons actually have a lime on them too. And I really only want like lemons. So I'm just going to cut them off. Um, normally I wouldn't cut the background off because it was blue. So it kind of matches. But since it was like um, I had to cut the lime off, it cut the you know border off too. So I kind of have to cut the border off all the way around. And I thought this would be really cute if I did two little lemons over on the left side of the sign. And then we could do some kind of saying over on the right. So these are like made out of cardstock. They're very durable and they're really easy to DIY with. And I'll show you how I attach these to the sign and how I kind of, I want them to kind of make them look like they're hand painted on there and not just, you know, paper cutouts from the Dollar Tree. So I start by using Mod Podge and do a layer on the back, just sticking that to my sign. It's okay that I'm going over the like, um, different boards because I will go back and cut that too but I'm going to do the same thing here on lemon number two and um, I really enjoy lemon DIYs I hope you do too I think they're so fun for summer they really scream summer for me and lemonade as well so I am just using my razor blade and going in there and cutting it right between the two boards like that then I can go in with like a sanding block um, I always get these from the Dollar Tree and just kind of sand that, rough it up, kind of push it down in between the groove. The stem was kind of in the way there and then just scuff it up. See, I just distress it with the sanding block. Now I don't have to go back and distress it, but it has that nice like coastal farmhouse vibe. And the reason that I'm using blue on this is because I thought that would be really bright and fun for summer instead of a traditional like green and yellow color scheme for a lemon DIY. And it was inspired by a Dollar Tree fabric that you'll see here in a minute. Very summery, very fun. So I went to my Cricut. We cut out some vinyl. I will share my Cricut cutout files below. I think these are... I can't remember what the fonts were, but I'll share that below in the description as well. But basically, I just cut it out with white vinyl, um, white matte vinyl that I got on Amazon. And I also get this paper transfer paper on Amazon. They're both available in my shop below if you are needing some. And then I am just going to reuse that same transfer sheet. I just wanted to show you that you can totally reuse these several times, actually. I'm going to line that up on my second board. And we're going to have it say sunshine in a cup. Now, I thought that would be appropriate because it kind of reminds me of lemonade, but it could also be coffee, right? It was funny when I was trying to find like a saying to go on here for like a lemon coffee bar. Um, I guess it's like a trending thing on TikTok or something like that to do lemon, lemon coffee, which I don't know. Lemon's good in tea, but lemon coffee doesn't sound very good to me. What about you guys? So that's me using the same sheet to put my white vinyl on both. Then I like to go in and distress it. That's going to kind of make it look like it's hand painted. So I just distressed it with that same cloudless color that we used before. And then I'm going to go back and distress the whole sign with some white. Just to give me that, you know, coastal farmhouse vibe. I love that. And I never really like putting any words on the bottom line of my sign because it kind of gets blocked by whatever's on the shelf on my coffee bar that kind of sits in front of it. So I think that looks good. Sunshine in a cup, very summery. And this is how it looks hanging at the top of my coffee bar. And I have a DIY coffee bar. I have a video of how I did this. It's just a tiny wall in my kitchen um, with a light switch and everything, but I used like a thrift flip um, cabinet from Goodwill and I just made my own coffee bar. You only have to have a little tiny bit of space. And then I did floating shelves to build the coffee bar. The next idea is just using some of these lemons from the Dollar Tree. Can you believe I have lemons now? I've been looking for these kind of things at Dollar Tree forever. It seems like only one of my Dollar Trees have them though. They have a whole bunch of different kinds of fruit, apples, oranges, like Lemon, so excited. Usually I have to buy these at Target. I think you can also get them fairly inexpensive on Amazon, but three little plastic fake lemons and a little lemon bowl from the Dollar Tree. And then for greenery, I thought we could use some of this beautiful lamb's ear, which is new greenery that I also got at Dollar Tree, um, just to kind of make my 
like lemon tree leaves. I love that soft color of the lamb's ear. It looks great with my decor. So I'm just going to kind of use that kind of as filler in the little lemon bowl and um, then just kind of arrange like the little plastic lemons from Dollar Tree right on top. I think three is plenty. It's just a matter of arranging it, get it like exactly how you want it. Um, I did add a little bit more greenery to mine, but I'm gonna just do that. Super easy DIY. This would be great for a tear tray as well. And I think I, I use a Target lemons in my next, in my lemon tear tray DIY video. And they're pretty equivalent. These might be a little bit larger, but this is how it turned out. My little lemons in a Dollar Tree lemon bowl. Those are so cute. I love their dishware they have right now with like the lemon, the bees, oh, so cute. Okay. The next DIY is so easy. I found this cute little sign. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade sign from the Dollar Tree. The only thing I don't like about it is that bright silver shiny frame. Now, at first I was going to paint it, but then I thought, you know, I probably have a sign very similar size from the Dollar Tree. And I did with a white frame. So I'm just going to kind of trade it out if I can. Sometimes these frames from the Dollar Tree are where you can't take the backs off. I've found, unfortunately, this happens to be one that you can though. So I'm going to pop out what was in there and then pop this out. It actually had glass, which I'm not really going to reuse, but the colors on this are perfect. They have like the blue color on there, right? And so I'm just going to attach that to the existing back that was the right size for the other frame. I'll just need to trim it down a little bit for size. Now... I thought that the paper was kind of thick enough to just Mod Podge that over because like the image is kind of glued already on there. And so I am going to just Mod Podge on there, but I should have covered up that BU with white because I think you can kind of see it through. Um, but live and learn. <laughs> so I did a thin layer of Mod Podge and laid my When Life Gives You Lemons Make Lemonade on there. Now you could always just repaint the frame too if you wanted to do that, but I thought this actually might be faster and I think it was. So just Mod Podge that in there, pop that back into the frame. Try to make sure that um, I don't have any bubbles. It's all flat. It's going to dry nicely. And then it has a hanger on it. I don't really need to have a hanger on it. So I was trying to decide if I was going to leave it on there or take it off. And then I just decided, yeah, let's just take it off. So this was definitely a quick, easy DIY. I always like to check. Dollar Tree has some really good like B signs. This is a cute little lemon sign. You never know what you're gonna find at Dollar Tree, but I don't have to make my own sign now. And it is perfect, the colors that I want and everything. It's got like the light blue, the yellow, the white frame. And here is how it turned out. Our little sign for my coffee bar. This would be great for a lemon tear tray as well. Super cute. And I love that saying as always. Now, this is an unexpected item. I found a lemon bath sponge. You guys know when I go to Dollar Tree, I go down every aisle looking for ideas. And all I'm going to do is cut the string off of this. Now, you're thinking a sponge on a coffee bar. But actually, once you get it up there, you would have no idea. This is a sponge because like... The lemon part on the front is rather finished. It's not like spongy or anything like that. And the great thing about it is that it's lightweight. It's wide. So it will like sit on its side like that. And I think it's going to be great for my coffee bar. So here is our little lemon sponge. You never know what you're going to find in some of those other aisles. I tend to find stuff in like the bath and like home um, decor um, sections all the time that are very unexpected. <laughs> okay, the next DIY, check out this adorable tear tray that I found at Target Dollar Spot a couple of weeks ago. It was $5 and I saw this and I thought this needs to be like a lemon stand or a lemonade stand or something like that. And that is exactly what we're going to do. Instead of a lemonade stand, I want to make mine into a lemon stand. Like we're selling lemons because I got a lemon theme going on. And I was trying to think of something that would make little small like crates for lemons from the Dollar Tree. And this is about as close as I could find. 
these little palette signs from Dollar Tree. Two of them are going to be a little wider than I need, but I think that's okay. We're going to be able to make that work. Now, I do need an opening, though, to put the lemons in there. So I'm just going to pop the middle board off, I guess, of the bottom on each one. And it's going to, you know, give us two little crate boxes on each side that we could fill in with lemons. Now, when I popped that off, I did notice there were like little staple nails or whatever poking out a tiny bit. So I'm just going to pull those out. I don't know why my pliers are so rusty. I find every single time I buy new tools, somebody like leaves them out in the rain, <laughs> which it's raining like every day constantly here in Florida right now. Ugh. Now I'm going to glue the two pieces together with a little bit of hot glue like that to make one crate. And I thought that would be perfect for the top shelf like that. But I also wanted to stand up in the back so that you can see the product, you know, kind of have it at an angle because the tear tray itself was kind of flat. So to do that, I thought we would just make little legs with those little tiny Jenga blocks from um, Dollar Tree. I'm just going to glue a total of three of those to the back and just make three little legs. That's going to make it stand up in the back, but be lower in the front. So kind of like a little ramp. But we're just going to leave this the natural wood. I think that looks like, you know, wood crates that you would see like lemons displayed in. Just checking to make sure it's going to fit. It's a little large, but it de definitely fits. Now for lemons. I picked up some of this model magic in yellow so we can DIY our own little lemons. You can get this at Dollar Tree, but it's kind of hit or miss for me. I have a little bit more luck finding this at Dollar General and it's only a dollar there. So it's 25 cents cheaper too. Whenever I see it at Dollar Tree or Dollar General, I always try to pick these up in all different colors because look how easy it is to make stuff with. To make the lemon, I just take a little tiny piece, roll it into a ball, and then pinch one end into like a slight point, right, to make little lemons, just like that. And I thought we would fill like all of the little bins up with lemons for our little lemon store. And then I thought, you know, I probably should hot glue them in. Um, that way it will all stay together. I would love to reuse this tear tray, so I don't want to make anything really permanent on that. But this shelf can definitely have some permanent little lemons in there. The great thing about this model magic is so easy to mold, but then it dries hard. I've made like sea creatures. I've made all different kinds of stuff with this. I made a mermaid. It's really fun to work with. It's just kind of like Play-Doh when you're a kid, right? And I'm just going to keep going. Might as well use the whole package since I opened it up of the yellow model magic. And so I just keep making lemons and gluing them in any of the openings. And then for like the bottom shelf of the tear tray, I thought we would just make a sign like a sign that you would have um, displaying like lemons, how much they cost and stuff like that to fill it all up. And this is probably my favorite DIY today. It turned out so stinking cute. So there's our lemons ready for sale. And now I thought we would use this little wood palette sign for the sign on the front. I thought that would be really cute. It fits perfectly. But I wanted to decorate it a little bit to kind of make it go with our theme. So I'm going to use that same blue cloudless acrylic paint from Walmart um, on the front of it that we used for the coffee bar sign for the top to kind of tie it in together, bring more blue into it. I do have to kind of switch to a brush to kind of get in there to the back panels on that for my second coat. And then I am just going to use... Um, one of those little lemon pieces. These are from the summer section at Dollar Tree right now. You get like two lemons, um, two oranges, two watermelons, I think, in each package. And they're so cute. Look how perfect this is for a lemon DIY. And it's just the right size to go on the front of the sign. So I thought, you know, I might as well just use it to make a sign for the front of it. So I'm going to use my favorite white paint pen and I'm just going to put lemons, kind of freehand it here on the top of my lemon. Then I was trying to decide how much should I make these? 
Then I was like, they're like 92 cents right now at my grocery store. I just looked. <laughs> but we're going to have a sale. Lemons, 50 cents. Everything's so expensive. Food. Stop it. Right? And I think that looks really cute. And how easy was that to make a sign? I'm going to hot glue that to the front of the little palette sign here. And that's really all it takes to make a little sign for the front of this tear tray. I love it. And I definitely could not pass that tear tray by. I'm like, I'm going to do something with that with lemons. I know I will. And I'm so glad that I picked it up. I think it looks really cute as is, but you know your girl's going to distress it, right? So I'm going to take just a little bit of white and just do a light distress over everything, the lemon and the blue part, just to kind of go with my vibe. Totally optional. And this is just the right size to fit on the front of the tear tray. I am going to have to use a little bit of hot glue just to make sure that it stays in place, though. There's like four like contact points between the shelves on the tear tray and my little sign. So I just do a dot of hot glue on all four of those, line that up and let that dry so that it will stay on there. And hopefully um, I can pop that off if I want to reuse this tear tray in the future, because how cute is the tear tray i love it and here are our lemons slide that right in and we have a little lemon market for my coffee bar and i'm in love with this i can't wait for everybody to see this it's so cute and this is how it turned out isn't it adorable just using a five dollar tear tray from target and some items from the dollar tree I love it. And the colors are kind of like a green and white on the awning, but I think it goes together nicely. Now, look at this beautiful ceramic pitcher I found at Dollar General for $6 the other day. And normally $6, I'd be like, eh, a little high, but look at the quality of this. It's really nice. It's like white ceramic pitcher. It's a nice size, got lemons all over it. It says squeeze the day. So I thought we could kind of make it look like a little lemon tree, maybe, um, with some um, of this lamb's ear from Dollar Tree and two of the little uh, faux lemons from Dollar Tree. I was a little bit way too excited about the lemons at Dollar, at, at Dollar Tree. They had carrots, too, by the way. I noticed my store started getting them in about Easter and they still have them. Um, but again, only... My store that is getting them is my store that had Shore Living the year before everybody else like in the country had it. So maybe it's a test product. Let me know if you in the comments below if you have seen the faux fruit at your Dollar Trees too because none of my other Dollar Trees have it. So I just use a couple pieces of foam from the Dollar Tree and put that lamb's ear down in it, kind of like a lemon tree. And then I thought, you know, I would find a way to attach these like two lemons to it. I thought maybe it might need to be a little bit fuller than the one piece of lamb's ear. I've noticed that the lamb's ear um, comes in a couple of different sizes. There are large ones, there are smaller ones. This is kind of one of the smaller ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more just because I wanted a little, this to be a little bit fuller, have a little bit more height. You could always just put like a, um, like a big wooden spoon or something sticking out of the top of it as well. But I thought we might as well make some kind of a lemon floral arrangement here for our coffee bar. So that looks a little bit fuller, right? Now, let me show you, it was a little tricky attaching these big lemons to it. So this is how I did it. I used some wire. From the hardware section at Dollar Tree, I cut a couple pieces off and then I strung that around this little plastic piece in the end. Now, I don't think I have video coverage, but <laughs> I did go back and kind of hot glue those little plastic pieces in because they kind of wanted to come out too, if you know what I mean. So, but this is how I initially got it started. I am just going to use that and wire that to the plant. I found that it was a little bit too heavy, um, you know, still for the lamb's ear and not just using the wire. So I do go back and use a little hot glue to kind of glue it to some of the leaves later. And I do the same thing on both of our little lemons here. 
And I think Dollar Tree does carry lemon sprigs too, but maybe on a smaller scale. Mine just had different kinds of fruit when I kind of looked for this. But I'll show you another option later in my lemon tear tray DIY of um, like the little lemon sprigs that you can also get from Target if you don't want to make your own. But I kind of wanted to see if I could kind of make my own here with supplies from the Dollar Tree. And it turned out fairly good, but it was a little challenging. Just add more hot glue, right? I got it to work and it seems to be staying together and it looks really cute on the top of my little lemon pitcher that I got at Dollar General. I saw this and I could not pass it by. I knew I had to do something for summer with this. Isn't it cute? I just love it. And it's the perfect height for my bottom shelf in my coffee bar. Now the next DIY, I'm just gonna take a jar sign from the Dollar Tree. This one's actually left over from Thanksgiving, but it can be any jar sign. They have these right now for like 4th of July. The reason I like this one from Thanksgiving is that it has burlap on the top, but you could always add your own burlap to it. Um, but I'm just gonna leave that as is. And then this was my inspiration for the coffee bar today. I found this beautiful fabric at Dollar Tree. It's that beautiful like beachy blue color with like lemons and limes all over. So I definitely had to incorporate this into the coffee bar since it was my inspiration. And I thought we could just cover the front of this jar and then we could actually kind of make this into a jar of lemonade. Just a large sign for my coffee bar. Just something to kind of lean back against the wall. So I'm just gonna lay it on the back of my fabric and just use like a yellow Sharpie, something not too distracting um, to kind of draw the jar shape on there. And then we can just go in and cut that out. I think the fabric is um, gonna look nice. We could Mod Podge that on the front of our lemon um, jar sign. And you know, I went to Dollar Tree today and they had a um, blue, lemonade sign very similar to this um, but of course it's got like the glitter and stuff on, on stuff on that it, it looks like a jar of lemonade kind of like what we're going to make it look like so I think mine looks more high-end just because it doesn't have glitter and stuff on it but that would be really cute as well like I was like oh this would look perfect on my coffee bar but I've already made this one and I love this one too though so I kind of had to draw the top so I could kind of cut around where the top of the lid was because I want to leave that burlap on there. I think it's perfect. Now, I didn't want you to be able to see that glitter. You know how glitter is kind of raised on those Dollar Tree signs? And I had a scrap piece of this removable wallpaper. So I thought I would just use that to kind of cover that glitter and color to kind of mask that so it doesn't show through in my final product. So I'm just gonna cut that wallpaper down to size and peel and stick that on there. I thought that would be faster than trying to paint it. And probably um, it works better to cover the raised glitter as well. So just a quick little Dollar Tree hack there. If you want to reuse a Dollar Tree sign, you want to kind of mask what was already on there. It actually worked really well. Just going to snip it down. And now we can add our fabric. This fabric didn't fray very bad, just a couple places. So I just trimmed off any loose strings. And then I'm going to do a thick layer of Mod Podge all over the front of my jar. And we can just attach that beautiful lemon fabric to the front. I love it. And it was a great inspiration piece. Um, sometimes when I'm trying to do a big project like this, like my coffee bar, I'm really looking for an idea. And I saw this fabric and I was like, ah, oh, that's my idea. I want to do like blue summer lemons for fun. And um, I love lemonade for summer. So perfect theme. Now, I did want it to look like a jar of lemonade, like with a handle, like a mason jar with lemonade. So I thought we could use one of these little burlap bags from the Dollar Tree. It's that same exact kind of synthetic burlap that's on the lid. And the great thing about this is that it's covered like in a plastic material that gives it a little bit of stiffness. It does not fray. And so I thought we can make a handle for our jar out of that, kind of coordinate with that burlap lid on there. And so I'm just kind of kind of cutting it out how big I think it needs to be. 
And then I'm just going to cut a little handle out. It has just enough stiffness, I think, to kind of stick out from this side like that and kind of stand on its own. Just a little fun idea instead of just a jar of lemonade. We can have like a little mug of lemonade like that. I'm not gonna do a straw or anything like that since it does kind of have like a lid on it. But um, I think this turned out really cute and it was really simple to make. So I just hot glue that burlap to the back of our little jar. And it's ready to go. I thought about adding like a word to the front or something like that, but I kind of liked the simplicity of this with just that beautiful lemon fabric. I didn't really want to cover it up with anything, but the word summer or something on there would look really cute as well. Isn't it pretty? I love how this DIY turned out and it was so easy to put together. The colors are just beautiful, right? So this is our giant glass of lemonade. It's going to be perfect on my bottom shelf. I have plenty of room for taller projects like that. Now the next DIY, I'm going to use a gift bag from the Dollar Tree. Look at this beautiful lemon and bee pattern. And I want the non-glitter side though, because I'm not really playing with the glitter. And then I thought we could cover a little um, cutting board sign from Dollar Tree. I picked that up there today. It's kind of a little um, cutting board size. I thought it would be perfect for our little um, coffee bar. And I like to use gift bags from the Dollar Tree, kind of like scrapbook paper. So that's what we're going to do. I'm trying to decide if I wanted the seam in it or if I wanted the yellow and white gingham. And I decided I kind of wanted the yellow and white gingham. So I am just going to put my little cutting board on the back of our gift bag using an ink pen to draw around it. So I'll know exactly um, how big to cut this gift bag out. And then we can cover the little cutting board. Every time I DIY a cutting board, I have somebody in the comments telling me, you know, you can't use that cutting board. Well, yeah, I know I can't use the cutting board. It is for decoration. You know, the existing cutting boards from the Dollar Tree like this are usually for decoration too. So don't worry, we're not using it. It's just for decor. And I always love having a cutting board for any kind of kitchen decor. I think it goes together and nicely. So just a matter of Mod Podging it to the front. The gift bag is nice and thick, so I don't think you're going to be able to see through it. And um, so I do a thin coat of Mod Podge and then lay that on top. It's nice and thick, kind of like cardstock, so you don't really have to worry about drying between coats. Once you get it on there, just smooth it out. I like to wipe mine off with a paper towel and use a scraper um, to kind of get the excess glue out. And then you can go directly over it with your second coat of Mod Podge on top without having to wait for the first coat to dry. Works really well. And then I need to cut out the little hole in the, like for the hanger here of the cutting board. I don't know if it's easier to do this before or after. <laughs> But I kind of poked a hole in there and then I was like, I think I'm going to have to kind of remove some of this paper. So I do that with a razor blade and then I kind of use like a marker and even like my finger to kind of like, you know, push around in there and kind of mold out that cutout shape. Trying to remove any of the excess material if I can. And if I didn't cut it down perfectly to size, a sanding block all around the edges works great to take off any of the excess uh, material and give us a perfect cut. Now I wanted to do like a little hanger here, even though I'm not really going to use it, but I just use some twine and I just tie a knot on the top, kind of hanging that down um, onto the side like that. Always looks great on a cutting board, even if you're not going to use it. And just trying to trim up that center part again. Now, I want this to stand on its own, but I also thought it'd be cute to give it little legs, like, you know, a little tray um, cutting board. And But I needed it to be on a small scale. So I'm using these little tiny wood blocks from the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. And we're going to put four legs on this. This is going to serve two purposes because I actually want to stand it on my coffee bar for display and those little blocks are just big enough to make it stand up on its own but it also looks like a little cutting board a tray with the little cute little feet on it like that and it really does stand up on its own 
just like this. So here is our little cutting board made out of a gift bag from the Dollar Tree. And I love that design. I think it's so pretty and it's different from, you know, that fabric that we use. So contrasting fa fabric and pattern. Now, the next DIY, I found these little mini mason jars at Crafter Square at Dollar Tree, and I thought, oh my goodness, these are so cute. I have to make these into little jars of lemonade. So that's what we're going to do. They do have lids. I'm not going to use those, but I'm going to try to fill it up with some of this clear craft glue um, from Dollar Tree to see if we can kind of make it look like lemonade in there. So I'm going to use, I have one bottle of the clear craft glue and then I'm going to use some food coloring. I always have some in my crafting stash, um, some Dollar Tree food coloring. I may have added a little too much. A little bit goes a long way on <laughs> the um, food coloring for sure, but I'm just trying to stir that to mix it up. Um, I thought it was a little yellow and I did want to thin it out. It was really thick. So I filled up the rest of the bottle with water. And so now I have like a watered down glue and I mix that all up much easier to work with. Now these are our little jars. I'm just going to remove the lids. And then I found these great little flip flop accessories. <laughs> kind of weird, right? They have these in all different like fruits at the Dollar Tree. And I knew I could do something with these little tiny lemons. And so I have two of them. They look like this. They have these little plastic pieces on the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull those off. And I thought we could put the lemons inside the little glass of lemonade. And I kind of want to put them along the front where you can see them. So I'm just gonna do like a little temporary dot of hot glue on the front of each of them and press them into the front of my little lemonade jars before I fill it up with glue. So I'll know exactly where they're at and they'll still be visible. And I'm going to put my lid back on my yellow glue and then just fill these up. Now, I don't know if it's a Florida thing, but whenever I do clear glue DIYs, eventually like a hole kind of develops in the top and they kind of like hollow out. But where they're at on my coffee bar, even if they do that, you, you're not going to be able to see it. I've noticed, I've heard other crafters say like similar things that happen and they were in Florida as well. So I don't know if that happens everywhere, but definitely happens here. So I'm just going to take a straw that I have, just a regular straw, cut down two little pieces to make two little straws for our lemonade and put those down in there while it is still a liquid. And we have two precious little jars of lemonade. I think these turned out so cute and I love the size of these for like a tear tray or a coffee bar like this. On my tear tray in a minute I'll show you how you can even make a little smaller miniature version of those as well. Now I found this in the summer section at the Dollar Tree. It's a little lemon cup and it's just a lemon plastic cup but I thought we could do something cute with it make it into a little vase maybe. So it's already yellow so that's cool. But I wanted like the, the lemon print on there, right? So there's like indentations in this. So I'm just using white acrylic paint and a tiny paintbrush and just painting that lemon pattern back on, which is so easy because you're just going right into the indentations of your lemon. I'm just going to do this on the front because that's the only side you're really going to be able to see. And it does take a couple of coats to get that bright white color over the yellow. And I thought if I just kind of disguised the lid um, where it had the screw cap on there, this would make a really cute little lemon vase for my coffee bar. It is plastic though, so it is super shiny as you can see. So to kind of tone that down, I love to use matte Mod Podge to um, give that matte finish. So I'm gonna go over all of the exposed plastic parts on this with one coat of the matte mod podge and it definitely takes away that plastic sheen makes it look a little bit more high end i kind of want it to look like you know ceramic and not like a plastic cup of my coffee bar so i just do the front the sides the even the back anywhere that you might be able to see it with a coat of that and let it dry. And it totally did the trick. 
Now, um, for the top, I wanted to disguise it, so I'm just using some Dollar Tree twine and some hot glue to get us started here. And then I'm just gonna simply wrap that around all of the little screw um, indentations here and totally disguise that. It's also gonna act as a little decorative touch on the top of our new little lemon vase. And I get it pretty good and covered, hot glue it to the back and snip off my excess twine. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of that lamb's ear that we've been using today from Dollar Tree right in top to kind of go with our theme. I do want it to stay in place though. So I am gonna cut a little tiny piece of floral foam that will fit down inside that hole, but will give me some structure that I can kind of put my greenery down into. Just a matter of getting it small enough. And this was so easy to DIY and it is the perfect for my little lemon coffee bar. Isn't it cute and sweet? You would never know that was like a plastic cut from Dollar Tree. So there is our lamb's ear. You guys know I'm obsessed with that and I think I used almost all of it today. So I'm gonna have to find more in my little lemon vase. Super cute and fun, and it's a perfect size, I think, for the top shelf of my coffee bar. Now, I always like to do like a little pennant banner or garland on my coffee bar on both shelves. So I thought we would use these little lemon pieces that we used before for the sign. I had to buy two packages to get, you know, enough lemons because there's only two in a package. And I thought three would be plenty. Thought about cutting them in half and making little lemon wedges, but I decided just to leave them as is. I cut down some Dollar Tree twine about the same, um, a little bit longer than my shelf on my coffee bar. And then I'm simply gonna attach it to the back of these lemons with hot glue. I'm gonna go all the way across so I have maximum adhesion. So this will stay together. I hot glue that twine all the way across the back. And I'm not really gonna measure, but I'm gonna kinda try to do this by <laughs> um, sight, try to get this even. Somebody ran off with my measuring tape and I don't know where it is. <laughs> so I have three on there and then I thought it'd be cute to add a few leaves and I'm gonna be using that lamb's ear that we've been using today, just in adding a few leaves to the back of these, but only like the two on the sides, like every other. So I just cut the leaf down and then hot glue that on the back where it kind of peeks out from behind, like a large one and a small one I thought would be really cute. And that's basically all I'm gonna do for this pennant banner. Super easy. I attached this to my coffee bar with a little bit of hot glue on the sides and it seems to do really well. Now for the other shelf, I thought we would use this beautiful fabric that we used before. Kind of tie that back in and just making a, a little tiny pennant banner. So I'm just gonna cut a piece out, kind of try to get a straight edge and cut like a rectangular piece down where I can cut little pennant banners out of it. So I cut my first triangle and then I just kind of use that as reference and turn it around, cut it the other direction and cut little triangles out of it. I always like to do odd numbers on my pennant banners. I did three for the other one. So I'll do five for this one. And I like to make the little mini pennant pin banners like this for my tear tray. So this is kind of a larger version for my coffee bar, but the fabric is so cute. Now my fifth one didn't have as much lemon on it as I wanted it to, so I'm gonna cut a sixth one. And now we have five little lemony pennants, and I'm just gonna simply attach that to twine from the Dollar Tree that I cut down to size. So I find the middle of my twine to get me started. And I told you, I like, I don't have any way to measure. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use something random that I had on my work desk to kind of use as a spacer so I can kind of like line those up evenly, sort of evenly. And I'm just hot gluing them to the back so easy. You don't have to worry about sewing, anything like that, but you kind of need to work on your spacing a little bit because once you get it on there, it is not gonna move around or anything. Like if you had it tied on or if there were like a seam. 
I try to not sew at all. I don't know if it's because my mother was a seamstress and worked in a factory, but her, lo her love of sewing did not pass through to me. <laughs> so I have a total of five, and I'm just going to attach that to my other shelf of my coffee bar. Now the final touch is I have a little bar for four coffee mugs on my coffee bar and I found these great lemon coffee mugs at Dollar Tree. So I picked up four. They matched that bowl perfectly that we used the bowl full of lemons and I think that's going to look great on my coffee bar. So here it is, my coffee bar. Sunshine in a cup with all of the DIYs that we made today. I think everything came together really cute. What do you guys think about my lemon coffee bar? I'm gonna give you a little quick sneak peek of it. I will show you around more in the final reveal that is coming right up, but I wanted to be sure to include my lemon coffee bar DIYs with you, as well as all of my new lemon DIYs that we made today to give you some fun crafting inspiration. Dollar Tree can be a really great source for lemon decor, as you can see. It's just a matter of putting it all together to make something cute for summer. Now it's time for the final reveal. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment your favorite lemon DIY in the comments below. Your comments always helps my video trend better on YouTube. And enjoy the final reveal. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's alright I'm starting to get used to it, I think I'll survive I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold Said we loved one another myself now and then i'll try to laugh but i'll cry but as well i was never any good at being away from you i met you in the summer when you left it was cold said we loved one another guess that we were wrong i met you in the summer our love was out of control i've been going crazy without you i'm so alone i met you in the
and thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of today's video. I also want to give a huge thank you to all my Crafty Beach Bum members for supporting my channel. Thanks so much to Karen O'Haran, Melinda Elizabeth, Jamie Job, Susan Edmonds, Tracy Knight, Nancy Wunner, Janae Farrington, Julie Miller, Pamelia Wren, Maria Grace, Donna Schreiner, Sandy C., Live Another Day, Tracy Wooldridge, Marin Christensen, Debbie Middleton, Vicki Connors, Adrian Brolt, and Deborah Caldwell. Members enjoy early ad-free access here on my channel. It's only $4.99 a month. You're free to cancel any time. All you have to do is hit that join button next to today's video and you can get early ad-free access as well and help support my channel here on YouTube. Okay, would you like more Dollar Tree DIYs? Be sure to check out this video right here. And until next time, happy crafting everyone.